It's uh, February 3rd, 2024, and it's Friday, and I live here in Sweden, and um, I had to uh, do one more recording, because something happened in the night, and uh, I want to... uh, tell you that uh, uh, you that have followed me you you know that uh, I uh, I repost some uh, um, episodes because uh, on uh, uh, SoundCloud there you you can't see those first uh, episodes I have recording because I'm only allowed to have 500 500 episodes and I have recording uh, it's uh, coming close to 700 so I have to repost about uh, 200 uh, episodes that you that have not followed me from the start have not heard them but uh, you can find them in other places because I I am on Spotify and and YouTube have also and I, I see that uh, many of you have started to listen at at YouTube, because that's uh, that is uh, for free to listen, uh, and uh, if it's happen, uh, I will turn to to be on YouTube only if they if I don't have to pay there to be with my podcast and you that listen to me doesn't need to to pay for it Um, so it can change but as I didn't know that because I was not up to 500 episodes when I started to tell you that you need to uh, download all the episodes because it's it's be a change uh, on my podcast i didn't really know what it was that it should be uh, but i felt it and the the spirit told me that yeah, i needed to say that they my listener should download all the episodes before it's before it is too late and it come a time when when it was too late to to listen at all the episodes so so i repost it now so you can listen what have happened because uh, I know it's hard for you that co- coming in and you hear what I t- what is talking about today when you don't know where I coming from and uh, in the beginning as I started to to tell you my walking from year 2000 when God come and talked to me and the uh, higher priest stood in my home and uh, uh, because it's important to know or else you don't know what you should believe when you hear because it sounds like a mental sick for people that have not listened at the beginning of this podcast. So I, I repost 
as much as I can. Uh, and uh, but today is it? What? what uh, oh, oh, yeah, I uh, start to be disturbed now of spirits that's coming because I have questions for them. Um, it is at this that uh, it started for three, two nights ago. Those spirits that was coming, and it was like it was lots of spirits uh, in in the night, but I didn't heard what they were saying, and uh, it was this three knock in the air was it going on and it was not f only for one time because now this night uh, when I had recording the podcast and I were going to sleep and I told you that uh, they maybe are, are going to come here uh, more and talk and I need to recording uh, this what they are they have told me uh, and uh, the, when I go, was going to bed uh, this for this night it was I go very quick to sleep and uh, every night after I know I've come to know that that there is ancestors relatives uh, in afterlife and they they are alive and want to talk uh, then I I started to talk to them I have not done that before, uh, but it started when they told me uh, when I move into this new home that they told me that uh, it should be a gathering place. They say that to me the first they did, and I didn't know what podcast was about, and I, I had to learn from the start what it was and uh, I didn't know uh, what I should do with a podcast because it it have just coming uh, the COVID-19 just come when I move in here and it closed me in in this home and I couldn't have anyone here and I didn't know anyone to take in here it must be strangers to take in if I should do that and I was too scared for to get COVID-19 so I didn't want to do it and I didn't know what how to do it and a gathering place but I was Someone is touching me very hard now. Um, oh, you up in my skull. Um, and, uh, but the gathering place was not for human. It It is uh, for human because you listen. But uh, the guest I started to get was from heaven. And... Uh, uh, and uh, it make sense now, today, uh, that it was a gathering place for those in heaven and for them to talk to you through me. And uh, But they are here. It's not me that make it up. So... What happened this night was that I I had not 
done a protection of me. So it, the door was open for the afterlife. Uh, and uh, and it, it was so many that wanted to talk to me in the same time of those spirits. And I, I tried to wake up because I wanted to tell them to go away because it was very hard on me and I, I and they have taken me with them to a place so I was not really in my bed and couldn't come back but after a while I could fight me back uh, to my to my bed and my home and uh, I wake up and my heart was beating very 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 fast and hard and I could hear my heart beating in the pillow and the mattress is in the whole bed was it like a big heart that was holding me and uh, I I went up to cool me down and uh, and say what I should do with the heart was beating so hard and I was thinking I am I'm going to do to check my blood pressure but I didn't do that because I calmed down when I started to walk around in my home and um, and it was so crowdy and first I was thinking that they they are very selfish in the in the afterlife when they do this to me and they it seems like they have no have forgotten and uh, maybe you that have followed me you know that I have told them that I can only handle two or three spirits in one episode. I can't take so many of them. So they have to respect me and not. And you know that I was take. I took a break from them. I told them to not come and talk to me for one month. And it hold one month that they didn't come and talk to me. And you have, that have followed me, you know that I have told them that I have to take a break because it it was too much and uh, I get, uh, I get, uh, it's wrong to say sick, but it's uh, harm my brain when they come every time I wanted to recording. But now, now is it more that I'm recording when they, they, uh, make me pay attention to them that they want to say something and then they are coming and um, so I uh, and now when I go into bed uh, and I have just taken a nap but when I go to bed for for the night I need to be sure that I close the door to heaven. So, uh, and I close the door by thank God for that day that I have had. And then I I thank, uh, I say to God that he is the only one. There is no one more than him. 
What are they doing? Yeah, I think they tried to stop me to talk. <laughs> well, now it's coming coughing again. And um, uh, so now I uh, have forgotten what it was I should say because they they hit on me but uh, yeah I know now uh, that I s say to God that he is the only one because he is the only one there is no Jesus as God and they are not working together they work it together like all of us in God's head but uh, God is the only one it's no one on the side of him no one uh, uh, equal with him uh, he have a commander commanders that is talking to the spirits about what to do on earth uh, with us and uh, and i understand it now that god doesn't interfere he doesn't come here and do things because he have other spirits that is coming in his name in his uh, his uh, he have told them what to do but he's not coming on his own if it's not really something that he want to say by himself he can do that but he is not so often as people think he is it is other people and uh, you know from the start I thought it was Jesus that had coming down and talked to me in the year 2000 but I, uh, when I have this gathering place this angels come and told me that it was those higher priests and that I only knew because in 2018 I was in hypnosis and I was to heaven and the first time I was to heaven there were six uh, higher priests coming to meet me in the cloud and uh, and I understood that uh, that one that was in in my home and talked to me he was one of them so I counted them as six higher priests that come and meet me in the cloud but I have one with me also so it's seven and the seven is the what I have that come down on earth together with me he have been there the whole time or else I have been killed when I was about three years old when the track drove over me but he was there and and helped me come to live again alive again and uh, he had been there to protect me and showing me now things that uh, I need to know to know and uh, and this uh, it was when it was uh, this knocking in the air I I heard it was some some people talking but I was thinking it is maybe they standing outside my house and talking so I I didn't understood that it was spirits behind that three knocking 
that was talking, but not talking to me. They, it was like they talking to each other, and then and then uh, they make me understand that they wanted to talk to me, and uh, I maybe did wrong by not uh, wait for them to come through to talk to me. Uh, as they uh, started to talk to me this night and uh, was talking and talking. It was like they were fighting to be first to me and talk. And uh, I remember that's so good that God have given me uh, the, that I remember everything, most everything that is of value to to understand what's going on. So I remember that uh, I was first when I come back from United States to Sweden, uh, it was a person that told me that there was a, a spirit church in my city. So I was to that spirit church. There is, a, I know there is some in United States spirit churches. And, and the, the woman that hold the church, she heard from heaven, from spirits. But she was uh, this ordinary a psychic person that she heard from both good and bad spirits and uh, and she had a hard time with me when I come because it was so many that were to talk to me of the spirits and I understand it today it was not a normal normal person that come to them that they maybe have uh, their mother and their fathers and their siblings that talk but I have the whole history of human history wanted to talk to me and uh, I remember uh, one uh, we have the like a uh, guest uh, psychic uh, women to the church and she said once that uh, she had talking to me about the spirit and she, then she turned around to to look at other people that was there to have a spirit uh, to talk to them about but uh, but uh, my spirits was knocking on her back and she turned around to me and and she said uh, it's lots of spirits that is on me that want me to talk to you again she said but uh, but i need to talk to uh, those other spirits the people that is here, they uh, we have to to uh, give give the church money, and uh, that's because that's why she say that because those other people that was there they have also pay money for her to talk from their spirits, but my spirits. As I knew it now, I didn't know it in that time that they were rulers here on earth. It was king. It was those that hold the whole country that was ancestors to me, that was in my DNA. And they were used to be the first who is talking that everyone listened at them and they were 
going in the in the front line. So, of course, they knock on her, her back to turn, turn her around, to look at me again, and and she, she and she say that we don't, I don't need to listen at them. Uh, they can knock on my back, but I need to, to talk, to other. And uh, from that time, I never come back to that church because I didn't want it to be like that. Because I felt, even if I have not done anything, I feel guilty of uh, I take people's money because they don't get anything. And I get all. So I didn't turn back to that church. So I know there is churches that have it like that. And we we were playing from the beginning. We play Bach music for to get heaven to come closer to us. And uh, I get a really, really, really answer now from from a spirit that uh, uh, come because I talk about batch music and uh, and now that he's talking to you about batch music if you have know this that his church he have done church music batch and, and he's saying this to me and to you that you should not play the whole concert the, of the church music of Bach. You should not be uh, like um, a, a habit for you, like uh, these bad things to to drinking or smoking and do drugs and do other things that change your way to be. You should always have a part of you be there and not going into another form of human another form of you you should always be there uh, this is not me talking at talking to uh, about this person and and I, I don't know why I got something with my nose to do uh, he's uh, he's saying this to me that there is some listen at this podcast in the same time that you you take drugs do you smoking that's why he do this with my nose now because he wanted to tell me that it's not like a hippie it's not the way to listen at my podcast and be high and go out and be a party about it. It's serious. It's serious for your life. And you should not use this podcast for 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 to smoke drugs and and thinking that you are coming closer to to the spirit world by doing it the, uh, the the bad thing is that those from not after life in heaven but those in after life in hell they are waking up and coming into you not only be around you and talking to you but they enter in into your body 
because they always want to find an opening into people's body to uh, could work, not work as themselves because they have going to hell, but their spirit they have. They have, in hell they have also spirits, but they they are evil spirits, and they enter into your body when you do these things. So, uh, uh, someone have trick you. There is a uh, both a, um, a girl and a boy uh, here that listen that they have fool you and saying that it's easier to come closer to the spirit by doing drugs uh, that's a lie that will kill you because those from hell they take the place if you had something good inside you they are going inside you and kill what you had inside you if you do that for a long time they take over your mindset so you have to quit so stop doing that it's a, a trick from the devil to make you do drugs for this for this podcast is is not about to do drugs it's it's the opposite to be so clean as you can in your mindset for they talking about in the bible i know is talking about to clean your house to to hold the clean house so they they can enter in the spirit from heaven from afterlife and this and to clean your house it have with your brain with your mindset to do and what you have around you it's not cleaning to sweep the floor uh, clean clean the windows it's not about that it's a it's a spirit thing that you should clean up from people that want you to drink and and go on nightclubs and and take drugs and those things so they had tricked you but you, you should admit it that you did that and then uh, going back to where you were before they they lied to you so that's what he's saying because they see everything so i he have seen you doing these things b- before you started to listen at this podcast so uh, no wondering if if they were uh, uh, talking to me in the night but they had no coming forward because they were too many that was in in the door the open open door it was open but uh, now i have closed that door they uh, i i see them i i see them in my mind there is a door open and it is no one can come out because they are so many but yeah i can't close the door when the, when they are there in the door they are not behind the door they are in the door and i i i push them 
uh, it's for you to do also this that you I take my hand literally but it is not that but the symbolic I take my hand and push them in so they are be uh, they are uh, inside the heaven they are inside of the life and I can close the door because no one is standing in the frame of the door now and I close the door we can do that together that we we have pushed them inside uh, and they are not in the frame so the door can be closed now and uh, and I hold the door and the, the door I see is this oak brown on almost black oak door that oak means heaven so that's where I close them and I have an old chain and old uh, locker that I, I have a key for and I I lock it the whole thing is where you have to hold it to open the door but they can't open the door now because it's on my side it means that I have the charge I am in the control because I have the key you know that it's an important message they have that's why they were doing what they doing in the night because you should you need to look at the key you hold in your hand you have your you have a key in your hand all of you have a key in your hand and that means a tool a tool to close close in those spirits that should be in heaven should be in heaven those spirits that it is from hell they should be in their room in their place and locked in by by a key yeah, no it doesn't matter if you have one or two keys because the key is strong enough to to close in both good and evil because it's the key control when when you feel it's time to talk to the spirits in afterlife uh, when you it's not about them when they feel that they want to come it's about you if you have that control so tell them to that they can come and lock up the door and bring out one or two or three into this world and talk to them and they have to go back and you lock the door after them again it's you that hold the key it's you that have the, the power in your hand and uh, what you do with your life that give the key the power if it, if you put in the key into dirt it also be 
uh, about dirt, the key, and it's you can't bring it into the clean door that is in heaven. You can't do that if you if you use that key to bring out evil ones and have a party and drinking and then you say it's time for you to go into your place because now I go into the church so now it's this key for me to enter into the key go into the church and it doesn't work because the key doesn't open up because what you have done is the key have its own like soul and open open only if you really want to open that you really know that you need to open that you need to uh, confirm that you want to be in heaven and not have with this key that hold hell that you can throw out the key in in the water and never hold it again some people uh, it's coming as a, a very strong touch now for in what I am going to tell you that some people have that key and and they have to lock in in this key uh, they have to close the door to hell many times he's saying that to you that's not e it's not an easy task to do to it's not only one time thing because you live in the world and it's teasing and they are lying for you and, and you need to close that door many times make that decision out from your heart that you don't want to live in that darkness you don't want to have tattoos all over your body you want to be clean you 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 maybe have locked been locked in of the devil because you have done tattoos but you know you can open up even if you have done that and it, it cost very much money to take away the tattoos so it's hard for you to do that and uh, but you can do take away the tattoos inside your mind also so that is not the picture but you give the sign of the devil by doing tattoos on your beautiful body and 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 it's the same thing on the other side that is it is uh, not one time for many people is it not one time to have the key to heaven that is also a decision you make and that you you say to yourself that you are done with this world you are done with every hate you are, you are done with all the lies you can fill in in all the words by yourself because you know them you know them by heart that that I don't want to have in my life so it, those it's two keys to choose 
but you should only use that key that go to heaven. So uh, no wondering uh, they were on me this night because it was important things to talk to you about. I am going to wait for them to see if if there is something more to say. It's a... They are waving now. And uh, it's two, three that have been here. And I, I tell them in the afterlife that you can't be more than that. I can't. My brain can't take it. It's a. It is a telepathy, and telepathy is going inside the brain. So it, my brain be tired. And. The, and uh, the first time I said to them to not come so many it was because I felt this with uh, my brain is stop, stop working, and it's what it is. So they, I have to be careful to let them in. Uh, who it is, they have to be careful. They have to understand that I am a human. I can't take in so many inside my brain. Uh, we, our brain is not made like that to have the whole heavenly, heavenly host, uh, not only host those that is in, he in heaven. Uh, those heavenly host is those that is coming and talking to us, uh, but not the whole heaven. We can't. We are human, and we are. Uh, we are. Uh, um, being created, to only bring in, some few things uh, each time. Uh, because the brain now it have to uh, go and lay lay those knowledge I have got they they the brain need to take care of it and put it where it belongs into my brain and it be too much if there is many spirits coming and that's why my heart was go going so fast, beat so fast when I wake up because that was full of stress and from the spirits and they they should know that I try to to work on to lower my stress so they should not be there and and stress me, but I, as I had the door open, I have also the door open to hell, so they were also there, so it was a real fight in the night, so uh, you have to be very important that you close the door before you go to bed, or uh, before you sleep, and then uh, give the key to hell uh, give that key over to to afterlife to take care of it and uh, the key so you don't hold it in in, in the night and of mistake uh, open up the, the door you give that to those in afterlife to hold it and hold it back and uh, let you have only the clean key to life. 
I'm glad that I see some some uh, of my listener <coughs> that they have understood. They are happy to hear this from heaven. It's not me that talking, have talking. It's the spirit in afterlife have, that have talking to you and to me. And remind me to always close the door. Close the door to both. Because if they are out, they are going wherever they want to do. And you don't have the control. You need to have the control. And I have told them that in the afterlife that they don't need to come in the night. Uh, because we can talk in the daylight. They you know, are not evil. Those spirit in afterlife, they are not evil. So they don't need to be in the darkness. They don't uh, work in the darkness. They work in the light. So they can come in the daylight and not in the night. So I have told them. And... Uh, and until uh, this night, when I forget to to close the door, I, uh, they have not come in since I told them that you can come in the daytime and talk to me. So uh, I thank you for listening and uh, uh, I maybe should have let them come last time to talk about it or or it was because I didn't close the door that they come and did this mess for me. But uh, my heart stopped as soon as I wake up it uh, was going down. I couldn't uh, go back to sleep so uh, because the whole bed was like a big heart beating very fast so I went up and w was up uh, about one hour and then I sleep very well after that so thank you and God bless you <laughs>